Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this video finds you. Welcome to Barely Grace. My name is Grace and this channel is really focused around self-care. Um, I do a lot of videos on skincare, hair care, and makeup. Uh, from time to time I may do other types of videos um, like opening new products I've gotten, um, like a, a haul if I go to a store and buy things. So um, those are the types of videos that I do. So if that's something that interests you, I encourage you to like and subscribe. Uh, you can also visit me on Facebook. Uh, I do have a Facebook group of the same name, Barely Grace. So, now that we got that out of the way, uh, what I am drinking right now is a Red Bull. I do have um, one of my new Jeffree Star straws. Um, I got those in a 12 Days of Christmas sale. Um, so yeah, I do love Red Bull. Generally, I drink coffee, um, but it's a little bit later in the day. It's 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 actually evening, um, and I'm almost done with this Red Bull. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm drinking right now. And talking about Jeffree Star, um, earlier today I ordered the um, Valentine Mystery Box. I got the Supreme, uh, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'll definitely keep you updated as to when it ships, and then when it comes in, I will absolutely be doing an unboxing. So that'll be a big, huge video um, because it's like 15 products, and if you know me, I talk a lot. Uh, so <laughs> that'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. I've done a lot of the mystery boxes in the past, um, but that was kind of before I had this channel up and running. Um, so yeah. I'll be super excited to do that. And then anytime I order or do mystery boxes, um, I will definitely do unboxing. <sighs> yeah. So that's that. Uh, I'm glad it's I'm glad it's Friday. Um, I've not felt great this week. I do feel a little bit better today than I have, and I feel better now than I did earlier today. Um, I've been having a lot of like dizzy spells and nausea. That's my kind of vertigo that comes along with my migraines. Um, so I do feel a little bit better now than I did earlier today. Um, and then I feel better, you know, than I have earlier in the week. So maybe I'll continue to feel better. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into the products that I want to talk about in this video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about some products that I use at night, um, kind of like a like an overnight mask or an overnight cream or something like that. I do have very uh, very dry skin. Um, I am super dry here and in this area. Um, so I, I do a lot of masks that are going to be very nourishing and, and moisturizing and um, my nighttime routine uh, is very, very much just like a basic, you know, routine uh, where I have a cleanser. Um, if I've worn makeup that day, I'll do a double cleanse, but I have a cleanser um, and then a toner, a serum, um, any like eye uh, creams or oils that I'm going to do if I have a balm or something and then a moisturizer um, but these particular products are going to be like the last step um, so yeah we'll go ahead and jump in we'll talk about this one first this is my absolute favorite this is pretty much like the first like overnight mask uh, product that I ever got uh, and I have been very pleased with this product and when I'm out I will repurchase it a little bit goes a long way and so this tube has actually lasted me for a really long time it's not something that I do every night uh, but I definitely do it like when my skin feels super dry um, or if maybe like I've been wearing makeup a couple days in a row or if my skin is irritated or something like that. Um, so I have absolutely loved this product. It did come in an Ipsy um, and I've had it for a while. This is a company called Coco Kind. Uh, this is the resurfacing sleep mask overnight mask with plant derived retinol alternative um, and it does say that this is packaged in a sugar cane made tube. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, how to use apply an even layer to to clean skin keeping clear of eyes and lips leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning use three it says you can use it three to four times a week I definitely don't use it that often but I do you can see it's like a um, 
it's like a cream um, but not a thick it, it's 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 a consistency more along the lines of a serum than it is like a moisturizer there's really there's a slight scent but it's not much of a scent um, I do love this though I, I put a little bit in my in my uh, palm here and then I'll just kind of rub it uh, and then go in in my skin and I generally pay close attention and I'll go into my driest spots first and then I will do it over the rest of my face. It does say to keep away from eyes and lips. That's just so it doesn't run in your eyes at night and you don't like lick your lips or anything like that. Um, but I've absolutely enjoyed this. It was really the first like overnight product uh, like this that I ever tried as far as like an overnight mask. Um, and what I will generally do is I will put this on and then I will lay down and I'm sure to lay on my back um, and then I'll kind of like you know scroll through my phone or watch a YouTube video or watch an episode of a you know show I'm watching on Netflix or something or like play my game um, for you know for a few minutes uh, until I know that it's really kind of locked in because I am a side sleeper I generally sleep on my side so I want to make sure that this kind of has time to kind of dry and soak in um, you know, so that I'm not wasting product or so that it doesn't get all over my pillow or anything like that. Um, so I've definitely enjoyed this. Um, this is a new product. I just got this in an Ipsy, uh, in my January Ipsy. So I just recently opened this and, and you guys would have seen that. Um, this is from a company called Polar or Polar. I don't, I don't know how it's pronounced. And um, <laughs> it's not in English. I mean, it has English on there, but the the big writing that you see is is not in English. So you just kind of have to look for it. This is the Polar Night Revitalizing Elixir. And I think I've used this once and I do really like it. Um, this is a really interesting company. Um, they're all of their like ingredients or the majority of their ingredients are from um, Antarctica um, or the Antarctic so that I think that's pretty cool um, <laughs> cool <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry I'm goofy okay it says apply a few drops of boreal algae elixir on clean dry face um, so yeah um, it's made in France. Yeah, it's 99% uh, natural origin. Uh, so this is a pretty cool company. This is the second product that I've gotten from them. Uh, the other is a moisturizer that I absolutely love. And like I said, I've used this once. This is like a, uh, it's definitely like a serum or an oil. Um, it's a little bit different consistency than the product I just talked about. This is definitely more of like a runny uh, product where that one has a little bit of a thicker consistency, but not thick like a moisturizer. Um, but yeah, that's more of like a serum gel, like a jelly. Uh, and this is more of like a serum oil. Uh, so I have used this and I look forward to continuing to use this. So that's pretty cool. Um, another one that I've gotten, I've actually used this a couple of times. Um, so yeah, you can see it. I have dipped into this a couple of times. Um, I've had this, I probably got, got this maybe in like October, November, December, somewhere around there. Uh, this is from a company called Murad. I do love their products. Uh, this is the Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. Uh, so it is a cream. It's, it, it's like a consistency of like a moisturizer. It is a creamy uh, consistency. Uh, it says to use in the PM massage evenly over face, neck, and chest. Um, it is made in the U.S. So yeah, um, I've really enjoyed this and I do use this one um, because it's like a thick moisturizer, like a night cream, like a traditional night cream. Um, so I do like this. Um, as with all of these products, when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels very nice and soft uh, and it doesn't have like the patchy flakiness that my skin normally has when I wake up. Um, so I have really enjoyed this. I have had several products from this particular brand and I do enjoy them. Um, I've had like a, um, a cleanser, like a... Uh, exfoliating cleanser <laughs> that was the word I was searching for an exfoliating cleanser I've had other like moisturizers from them so I do enjoy this brand Murad um, so yeah I, I enjoy this night cream 
And then the last product that I'm going to talk about is not something that's specifically for nighttime, um, but that is generally when I use it. Uh, and this is a um, this is the Rada Rose Hip Oil. It is 100% pure and natural rosehip oil. It is certified organic. Um, it is made in Oregon. There's a little Oregon um, emblem there. Uh, there's the USDA uh, certified organic. And it is cruelty free and vegan. And it is 100% something. Oh, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Well, that's nice. Uh, the ingredients is uh, rosehip oil. That's it. Um, and, okay, here we go. Rada rosehip oil is high in essential fatty acids, vitamins, and antioxidants, which absorb quickly to replenish, uh, rehydrate, and renew, rejuvenate. I apologize. <laughs> Minor interruption. And I don't remember where I was. Um, this oil is used to help combat premature aging, reduce blemishes, and naturally brighten the skin for a youthful, healthy complexion. It is ideal for dry, mature, and blemish-prone skin. Uh, so it says here you apply three to four drops to your fingers and gently massage onto your face, neck, hair, and body. Do not ingest it, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I've used this at, at different times of the day, um, but I do like to use it at night. Um, it is definitely an oil. You can see here. Let me drop it in there so you can see it. Um, and when you first put it on here, I'll show you. I'll put just a very small amount on. When you first put it on, see how it has almost like a yellow type uh, tint to it? But that very quickly kind of dissipates and goes away. So it's not like it leaves a... Um, like a yellow tint to your skin or anything like that. That is something that very quickly goes away. Um, it does not feel exceptionally um, oily, you know, or slick or anything like that. It definitely absorbs into the skin. Um, I have also put this in other things. Like I made a, uh, like a, a mist for my hair that I put this in. I'll sometimes put this in the bath. I have put this in a mist that I made uh, for my face. Um, so yeah, I have really enjoyed this. Um, a little bit of this definitely goes a long way as with other oils. I also have like a hemp oil that is in something very similar to this and I use it in a lot the same ways. I'll put it on my skin. Um, I put it in a face mist, I put it in a hair mist, and then I'll put it in the bath sometimes. Um, but I wanted to show you this because this is something that I do uh, a lot at the end of my nighttime routine. And so I will put this on and then and then go to bed. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that when I was talking about these other night products. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that I do uh, as far as like a nighttime ritual. Um, and something that I do is like an overnight treatment. Um, again, I do have very dry skin. Um, I do have, I would say, mature skin. And, and I'm definitely uh, not getting any younger. Uh, so those are the types of things that um, draw me to products. If it is very uh, nourishing, if it is very hydrating, um, if it helps with like wrinkles and things like that, fine lines. Those are the types of products uh, that I'm drawn to. So if you've used any of these, or if you maybe have a different like nighttime cream that you use um, that you would like, I would love your recommendations, or I'd love to maybe give you some recommendations if you have a different type of skin, like maybe you have oily skin or a combination skin and you want to know what's going to be best for you, just ask, you know, and, and we can talk about it together. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me have a little sip. It's almost dinner time. Um, my oldest, Cash, is at work. Uh, they work at Subway. They had to work for to close tonight, so they've already gone to work. Um, I think my middle, uh, which is my nephew, I think uh, he's going to his grandfather's house this weekend, so I don't know if he's leaving tonight or uh, maybe on Saturday. My youngest, that's who just came in and was asking me questions about history, and I was like, oh, ask your dad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on now. Um, I will probably film another couple of videos um, because I do like to upload every day, but I don't necessarily like to film on the weekends. Um, so it is Friday, 
this is Friday's video, but I will probably also film the Saturday and Sunday video and then just schedule those. Um, weekends are really big self-care for me. I mean, I do self-care every day. Self-care is something that is like a must have for me. I've, I've got to do it. Um, and I start off every morning with my coffee. That is my first step of self-care, but I definitely do other things throughout the day uh, that are just for me. And so I encourage you, if that's not something that you already do, uh, definitely, you know, work some type of self-care into your daily routines. Um, excuse me, if you have any questions about self-care or you need some suggestions on what you can do um, or what you should be doing, um, self-care can look like anything. You know, it can look like a cup of coffee. It can look like a face mask. It, it can look like, you know, walking around your neighborhood. Um, it could be binge watching a show. Uh, there's tons of things uh, that you can be doing for self-care to give back to yourself. And it's very important that you do that. Um, because if, if you are empty, if you are out, um, you can't pour from an empty cup, right? So you have to give in. You have to put things into your cup so that you're able to give to other people. Um, so I definitely encourage you to do that uh, because it is important and you are important.